Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you a unique way to show a pop up based on keywords inside your URLs. This can be really helpful if you want to promote deals or specials, but only to specific people. The great news is the possibilities are really endless when it comes to this type of functionality and can be used on all different types of websites. So for example, you can use this on e-commerce websites if you're selling courses, or in our case, professional services. I mean, the list goes on and on. Let me show you an example of what we're gonna pull off in this tutorial. If you see right here, I have the URL, and this right here is a URL parameter. And if you look right here, this is called UTM underscore campaign. In most cases, that's when you need to track people, like a really good example is if you're doing a newsletter or something like that, you would have this right here, and then this can go inside your Google Analytics, it makes it real easy. But if you want to have it where people go to your website with that campaign name, you can target a specific uh, pop-up just for that one user. So let me go ahead, hit enter, and you're going to see this pop-up come up right here in a second. So this one right here is targeting the keyword. Uh, I just have it as wiki. Now let me go ahead and show you the power of what we're going to be pulling off. So I just type in wiki 10, and now what I have is a specific pop-up just for people who are coming from this campaign and you can see it's a totally different pop-up. So in this case, it's like, you know, 10% off. So once you start to think about how you can use these things, like I said, there's really no limit to what you can do. And this can be really powerful on an e-commerce type of website. To follow this tutorial, you will need Elementor Pro and you need to already know how to create pop-ups inside Elementor. That's going to keep this tutorial a lot shorter. The only thing you need on top of that is to install this plugin right here called Dynamic Conditions. This plugin is going to give you more advanced uh, dynamic controls inside Elementor. Because as of right now, Elementor doesn't have a lot of dynamic conditions. I think in the future they're going to release uh, more possibilities with dynamic conditions. But as of now, you're going to need to install this plugin to make this work. After you have installed and activated the Dynamic Conditions plugin, now you can jump over into your pop-up. So in this example right here, I'm going to jump into the settings for this pop-up. And everything else is exactly the same, so you need to already you know, have your pop-up ready. Now, if you go under Advanced, this is where that new plugin is going to display its settings. So what you need to do is go under Dynamic Conditions, and then what we need to do is click this button right here called Dynamic Tags. Scroll down until you get under Site. Uh, this is called a Request Parameter, so we need to make sure we click that. And you need to keep this one at Git. And the parameter name is going to be, in this case, UTM underscore campaign. So if you remember, that's this right here. Now, if you're using, like, you know, like I said, e-commerce or whatever, you can have a totally separate thing. This doesn't have to always be a UTM campaign. I'm just going to use it for this tutorial. So you put that in right there. And now what you need to do is go underneath uh, right here, show hide. So we need to show when condition is met. Make sure that's on. Under condition, you want to put this is equal to and then you want to keep this one at text and then all you have to do is just type in the word in this case wiki click update and that's all you have to do now anytime somebody comes to this website and it's got this uh, parameter called utm campaign equals wiki it's going to show that um, you do need to make sure that underneath your display conditions you're going to have it on that page so let's say in this case just keep it simple the whole website under triggers, I have it where it will trigger at zero seconds and you can just hit save and close and you should be good to go. So now let's go to this page, just hit refresh, make sure that that is working correctly. And yeah, there you go. That's working the way it should. And same thing over here. So here was the 10% uh, off pop-up. So this is a separate pop-up. So it's the same exact thing. You just want to click right here, dynamic tag, scroll down until you hit request parameter, go back into that, give it the name of UTM campaign, equal to, and then this was just wiki 10. And same thing, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your conditions, I have an entire site trigger on page load one second. So just hit save and close. So now any page I go to and I just add wiki 10, it should show up the 10% one instead of this one now. Yep, and there you go. And that's all you have to do to create these conditional values where it will show that pop-up dependent on whatever keywords you have in here. Um, the one thing I will recommend is if you start to get a whole bunch of um, different scenarios where you kind of have pop-ups on top of pop-ups, it's going to get messy really quick. And Elementor does have this feature right here, avoid multiple pop-ups. You can start to play around with this setting. So for example, if all of your pop-ups 
under a display condition, let's say you have one for the whole website, if you already have one on an entire site, you might start to get you know overlapping pop-ups. So if you're gonna use this sort of technique on your website, you gotta be very organized and structured of how your pop-ups are working. So maybe only display these specific pop-ups on certain landing pages or like at the checkout if you're on e-commerce. You know, and then you could still have your normal pop up for, you know, people who don't have this uh, specific UTM code or whatever it may be. So that's all I want to say is just be aware that this could get a little messy if you're not organized with your pop ups. And that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.